Now a brief discussion on uh, creational design pattern. Okay, creational design pattern means the all patterns we use to create objects, we use to prepare an object, are called by creational design pattern. So there are few patterns that fall under the creational design pattern, named uh, singleton design pattern, factory design pattern, abstract factory design, design pattern, prototype design pattern, and builder design pattern. These are the name of uh, creational design. Now let me describe briefly what are those like singleton design pattern. Singleton design pattern means I will create only one object of a class throughout my entire application life cycle. Okay. Uh, for an example like uh, user activity logging functionality. If any user performs any activity, the activity details will be logged into the database. It's a common uh, functionality that we are using uh, in each application. Okay, So it's a common activity and uh, the fu this functionality will need to develop by the singleton design pattern. So now uh, what is prototype design pattern? Prototype design pattern means I will copy an object to prepare a new object. Okay. Suppose I have an object of, uh, of a class and already in my application and I need another object of the same class. In that case, I can copy the object to prepare a new object. So this pattern is known as the uh, prototype design pattern. <laughs> Now what is factory design pattern? Factory design pattern means I want to hide the implemented classes uh, from the client. Okay, I don't want to show the implemented classes where I actually uh, develop the all functionalities that, to, that is required to perform a particular activity. Suppose I have a class uh, which is uh, class 1 where I have developed some method that is uh, required to perform a particular functionality. Okay, So I will not represent the classes. I will not represent the class 1. I will represent another class who will call the class 1. Now what is abstract design pattern? Abstract design pattern means uh, now I actually need uh, uh, factory classes to represent the uh, factory design pattern uh, and after factory means I will uh, have multiple factory classes and I need to manage those. Okay, In that case I need another factory class to manage those factory classes. So this design pattern is known as uh, abstract factory design pattern. Okay. Now what is builder design pattern? Uh, builder means the think about the builders. Okay, what they are actually doing? They uh, develop a project step by step. So if you uh, have any requirement that you need to develop an object step by step, okay, in that case you need to use the uh, builder design pattern. So from next video I will uh, discuss the all creational design pattern one by one in detail.